Somebody call for Damasio? Damasio? Anyone? Damasio? Hey everybody, what's going on? Hope you guys are doing good. I am doing just great. So I got my Damasios for this thing. Yep, bridge and neck. That's going to work out really good with this. And I'm keeping the scheme with the black as far as hardware goes. This is pretty much the original way that this bridge looked, and I'm keeping it that way. Um, put the plate for the five-way, and I said five-way switch because it was a three-way switch inside of here, and I'm going to replace that. I'm replacing the pots with uh, CTS pots. Um, the, there's nothing wrong with the jack was over here, so I'm going to put a barrel jack back in there, and other than getting my fingerprints all over this nice shiny finish, uh, that's pretty much it. And as you can see, I shielded everything again. Yep. Even though these are humbuckers, if I set this thing up the way I want to set this up, there will be uh, single coils, you know, kind of like splitting the humbuckers. So they're no longer a humbucker. They're going to be single coils, and that's going to introduce some noise into the signal. So hopefully, you know, the shielding is going to help with that out, so it cancel out some of that noise. So, yeah, this thing is looking good getting there and uh, just taking my time on it I still have other stuff sitting in the other room over there drying now a few people asked me about the rubber padding that I put underneath the bridge so what I end up doing is I'll take a piece of paper and put it over the opening of the bridge and uh, if you know what graphite pencils are and stuff like that they're for artist drawing stuff and I'll use a graphite pencil and kind of go over the edge and I'll come up with a template like this that basically sits right there now I'll transfer this template to some of this foam rubber padding that I've got and I've got more of it but I got the I put it away already so this is just a piece of it this is the thinner and that's what was on here was the thinner one so I've got a thinner one here thinner piece here which is basically a cutoff piece from this um, it is grippy I said grippy yes grippy so if you put this under some type of a table lamp or something that you don't want to scratch a finish on your your shelf or something and you don't want something to slide off of a shelf or something you put this shit on underneath it it's very grippy it's uh, very sticky as far as peeling back and then applying this to something I mean it is like real sticky I don't want to get this thing on the finish on this thing here because it will stick to it and probably leave something on here as far as a film goes the backing is kind of like wax coated a little bit, so you have to be careful what you use as far as like a pencil pen and shit like that for drawing your template on it because it doesn't really want to um, stick to this paper. So this is the thinner one. This is about a sixteenth of an inch thick, maybe a little bit less. The other one that I have is about an eighth of an inch thick, and uh, like I said, I already put this shit away bought it on Amazon what I did is I looked for foam rubber sheets adhesive back and this is what it came up with the stuff is pretty nice it's stretchy up to a point the thicker stuff you can stretch it a little bit if you need to the thinner stuff is you stretch it and it's probably going to tear on you or fall apart so using that behind the bridge kind of replaces what was already there to begin with and uh, keeps it looking stock look so yeah there you go so CTS pots are going inside this I want to put a five-way switch inside of here instead of a three-way switch the original barrel jack is going to go inside here there's nothing wrong with that uh, I've got two black knobs that are going to be for this I can put um, at least one of the back cover plates I can put back on here because I don't really don't need with this style of a tremolo system uh, you don't need to be back there anymore after you put it together all you need is the thumb drive a wheel that's inside there and uh, that's it so as far as everything else goes, it looks like it's going along pretty good. So I'm going to get back to assembling this thing and then get the neck put on. Bonus. All right, so what do we have here? What did I order now? Oh. 
bubble wrap. Aha! Set of ENG Active Base Pickups. Yep, I said base pickups. These are going to be going into the Squire Jaguar base. I decided that, uh, well, since there's a battery cover on the back of it, and uh, I can utilize that with a set of EMGs. Nice. So these are the pickups from the Ibanez, original. This is Infinity 1, Infinity 2. Not bad shape, pretty good. Damn, look at all that wax. I wonder if they're worried about something. All right, so now all it's left to do is to let the string stretch, let the neck fall into place, do a minor setup on it, and yeah, she'll be good to go. Everything's assembled, it's all wired. As you can see how I, what I mean about the vine disappearing, and then you move to another angle and now you see it. It's kind of like the headstock it does the same thing. It kind of disappears a little bit. And you move off to the angle. This thing came out really nice. I'm really happy with it. 